going to start off by listing out a number of statements that maybe once upon a time in your lifetime you've either thought or have said to yourself. I'd like for everybody to please raise their hands if at any point in your life you've either thought or said of the following. I'm terrible at myth. I'll never be good at sports. Or, I love candy. I could never refuse a treat of candy. Thank you, Ronnie, for the panoramic uh, display. Can anybody tell me what is problematic about any of the statements that I just listed? Norman. Saying never, it feels like it happened one day. You never say never. You say, oh, it might. So Norman's focusing on the word never and how final or absolute these, these statements are. Love that thought. Freddie? I agree with Norman that saying never is a very strange word. Like, and it's like, so Freddie agrees with Norman. There's an extreme language that's being detected. And any type of extreme language doesn't lend itself to maximizing opportunity. Love it. Last thought. We'll go with Jacob. Okay. So you said that I'm going to be good at sports or something like that. Right. But you're not supposed to focus on the bad. You're supposed to focus on the good. So you may not be good at sports, but you may know how to write a good essay or something like that. Or you may know how to play the piano. So Jacob wants to focus on the different types of skill sets that we have. We'll talk about that. So boys... I want to talk about an idea that for some odd reason is not so well known, but in my opinion this is one of the principles that guides my life. And the idea goes like this, there are two types of mindsets in the world. People either operate with what is known as a fixed mindset, or they operate with what's known as a growth mindset. And I want to uh, highlight the distinction between these two ways of thinking and then we'll ultimately circle back and figure out which one is best for us. The fixed mindset goes like this. An individual who thinks with a fixed mindset will say to themselves, my skill set is what it is. This is who I am. I'm not changing. So if I can't do something right the first time, or if I'm not successful at a particular endeavor that I commit my time to, therefore, it's not worth my while. There is no reason for me to continue what it is that I'm doing. On the contrary, the growth mindset would offer a different opinion. And it would say the following. I'm not so focused on the result of what it is that I'm trying to do like I was focusing in on in the fixed mindset. Rather, my focus and attention is on the process, is on the journey in which I am going on, and just like Norman and a couple of others alluded to earlier, my mindset is focused on recognizing that I have the potential to grow and maybe today I don't have the correct skill set that allows for me to feel or recognize success, but that can change with something called effort. Now I want to talk about two different very famous individuals that I, would, that I think will help us realize just how impactful the growth mindset can be. Michael Jordan. Anybody know the story about Michael Jordan? Well, besides the fact that he's one of the greatest basketball players of all time, arguably the greatest player of all time, what makes Michael Jordan special that much more special? Sammy. So Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team uh, for reasons that maybe are not so known to most. There were some attitude issues that the coach felt he had. The 
coach didn't feel like he was a team player. And ultimately, he felt that Michael Jordan's talents were not worthy of the high school basketball team. Fast forward years into the future, Michael Jordan was in an interview. And jokingly, one of the reporters asked Michael, hey, Mike, wasn't it true that you weren't worthy of being on the high school basketball team? Weren't you cut from that team? And now look at you, you're one of the greatest players of the generation that to ever play the game. Is there anything you want to say to that coach? Alluding to the fact that Michael should probably say, ha ha, told you so, you made a mistake. You know what Michael Jordan's response was? Thank you. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to my high school coach that proved a very valuable lesson to me. And you know what his lesson was? Michael Jordan recognized that at that point in his life, he wasn't worthy of being on the high school basketball team. And Michael said, if it wasn't for that coach who cut him at that point in his life, there is no way he would have worked as hard as he did to improve his craft to ultimately become the greatest player to ever play the game of basketball. Person number two. Walt Disney. Anybody know what makes Walt Disney's story so special? Yes, he created Disney World, multi-million dollar operation, but what makes his story so sweet, Eli? He used to be a gorilla, and I don't think he had a lot of money. So, um, close, anybody want to expand on that, Solomon? Correct, Walt Disney, before he created Disney World, worked at a newspaper company. Worked for a newspaper, he was a writer. And he was fired. Do you want to know what the reason was? Why they fired Walt Disney? They told him that he lacked creativity. Boys, the guy created a mouse, and he put it on the TV, and my daughters won't stop asking me to watch the stupid mouse on the TV. How creative is that? That person who was able to imagine and to create that level of excitement, that person lacked creativity? How on earth is that possible? But boys, Walt Disney did what very few people are willing to do. He was willing to say that me being fired is not a personal attack on my character. It's not something negative about who I can be. It's a mere reflection about where I stand today at this point in time. And a person with a fixed mindset would have said, there's no point. Why should I continue? Why should I bother trying? I want to be successful. I've been told that I'm not good enough. So therefore, Shabbat Shalom, close the doors. There's nothing to talk about. But that's not what Walt Disney did, and that's not what Michael Jordan did. Both of these individuals said to themselves, yes, it's true. As of today, I don't possess the necessary skill set to be successful. But that can change. And boys, you can possess this exact operation for yourselves. We're missing one particular word, one special ingredient in your language. And if you can learn to incorporate this one word, it's a three-letter word, but it can change your life drastically forever. If you can learn to attach the following word at the end of any statement you want to make when you are recognizing a struggling moment in your life. Yeah. Yet. I'm not good at basketball. Yet. I'm not good at myth. Yet. I don't know how to say no to candy. Yet because it's a skill set that can be cultivated and that with enough effort, you can make those changes all on your own. So boys, here's the question. You are closing this chapter in your life and you will be moving forward to high school next year. You undoubtedly will come across struggles not because there's something inherently wrong with you, but because you're a human being. And this is what life throws at us. It throws challenges and struggles. And some of them may look like you're not fitting in in a new social scene. Maybe here at Barca you have a nice cool little hangout gang. When you go to big uh, and better different school, 
may not be so easy peasy anymore. Or maybe you're struggling with the academics. Maybe the supports you were receiving here are different than what you'll receive in high school. Or maybe you didn't make the basketball team, but every year as a middle schooler you made a sports team here. And next year you'll come to a point in time where you don't get to make the team anymore. And the question is, boys, how will you respond? What will be your mindset? Will you be like the person of scenario A, of a fixed mindset who says, you know what? That's it, close up the shop. Nothing more to talk about here. This is who I am and this is where I'll never get to. Or will you add the magic word, the three letter word of yet? I haven't done what I needed to do yet. Because that insinuates that if you put in enough effort, you can grow that skill set and you can make the changes that you need to make to control your own destiny, your own life. These struggles will come your way. How will you respond? Three letter word, yet. What will you say? Shabbat shalom.